I asked him, he said, yeah. uh, who put the moon up there? Let me ask you this question. Forget about Sam Dawa because he doesn't want to. Okay. No. Okay, answer you want to come? Okay. Answer my question. My question is, can you please show me, give me a proof where that if was it was any moon on the top of any mosque before the Ottoman Empire. That's what we're asking. That's my question. Okay, let me, I will, uh, I will watch the why are you running away? No, I, I, I he was going to watch. I will watch no, no, no. the video. I will watch the video. No, you, I don't want you to say that I'm lying about what you said. I told you I will bring you the... Uh, Answer, we can hear you. Now, now is one month, now is one month. No, last week. No, it's not, no last lie, week. no lie. No, no. It's not, not, I, I talked to you week. last week. Can okay. you can, can you bring okay. it now? I Do you have it? No, you I have don't it? have it right yeah, now. Okay, will, okay. okay. listen. You, have it, you told you. me. Okay. Will you have it? I will talk no, no, no. Come back. You're, you're running away. Okay. Sam Dawa said that the Uthman put it, uh, Ottoman put it up there. I said, where did the Ottoman get this crescent moon signal uh, sign? They said, I don't know. Do you know where the Ottoman got the crescent yeah, no. uh, moon? That's that's he, what you. That is his idea. But we, I'm saying to you, what I'm saying uh, to you... Can I, can I ask you something? Uh, can you answer the question? When I ask you one question... You ask me, and I answer. I, no, what? You ask me, why do you have moon's crescent on, your mo on top of the mosque? Okay, no, no. I asked you that, but I also asked you right now. What I said, where, because I said the Sam Dawa says that you got this moon from the Ottoman. Do you agree or not with Sam Dawa? Let me tell you one thing. I'm asking you, do you agree I or just not? Said, oh, I just said, okay. listen, okay. I'm saying, let's say Uthman done it this time. No, no, not Uthman. Ottoman. You know Ottoman? The oh, Turks. Ottoman Empire. Yeah, I thought yeah. you were saying Ottoman. No, no. He's, Thank he, you. He keeps saying that. That you're making it clear no, now. No. Okay. Ottoman Empire. Oh, he said the, Ottoman. Yes, Ottoman. Oh, okay. okay. I thought you were talking no, no, about Ottoman. Ottoman. Okay. I'm talking about Ottoman. Okay, fine. Doesn't okay. matter. Now, now, do you agree that Ottoman put the moon, crescent moon? All I'm top? saying, yes. yes. Do you agree? Crescent came after some time. No, no. After some time is what? Yes. After two years, ten years, no, thirty years, hundred years. No, after Prophet and his companions. Okay, please. Okay. You cannot give okay. me such a generalization. Okay. What do you want? Okay. Because what do you want? I, I, okay, when we talk about the crescent moon, yeah. I say, where do you get it? Some Muslim will tell me it's a decoration. Some people will say it's from the no, Ramadan. No, it's decoration, obviously. Oh, okay. Okay. Decoration. It's decoration, obviously. Okay. okay. He's saying it's decoration. Okay. Yes. Now, some say it comes from the Ramadan, uh -huh. and then most of the Muslims, they say it came from the Ottoman. We don't know why they put okay. it there. Okay. okay. Can you give me your so what personal is the view? Point? Okay. Give me your personal view. Uh -huh. Is it a decoration only? Is it uh, because of the Ramadan? Or is it because of the Ottoman? Please. Okay, let me answer for you. The context, even if I say Ottoman Empire, the time of Ottoman Empire was found the crescent on top of the, our mosques. Let's say that one. But still, the context is because of what? What's the context? It's because of worshiping. Do you know every time in Islam, even in Christianity, we check the context. Now, if you have cross sign on your churches, I do not believe you worshiping the cross just because you have the cross on, your to on top of churches. Same again applies to me, which ap what applies to you also applies to Muslims. So Why? you believe... Why no, are you guys no, always following I'm Christianity? Asking, no, I'm not, I'm not, you're not getting the point. I'm saying the reason we have crescent is not about worshipping the crescent. Are you getting the point? Okay. Same, uh, because I don't same want to all be of you, like, same all of you. I'm going to be very civil in okay, this because no. I have never yeah, seen I'll you so civil conversation no, with I'll come before. to that point. And I, it, it, yeah, I'll come to that point. I'll explain to you. I'm going to give you respect for yeah. having that conversation. I'll come to that point. Respectfully. Okay. So, go ahead. Uh, you, you make, finish Let me your finish. Point. Okay. Finish your point. Okay. So, basically, Christians always say Muslims worship moon. Why? Because we have crescent sign on top of our mosques. Therefore, we worship the crescent. Same applies to Christians. They have cross, Christians cross sign, but we do not say they worship the cross sign. But technically, we know they worship Jesus. But doesn't mean if you have the um, Christian cross, the cross. Let me come. Let me come to the point. If you have the Christian cross on the on top of churches, doesn't mean you worship the uh, Christian cross. If I have crescent on mosque on top of our mosque, doesn't mean same. Doesn't mean we worship the moon. In the Quran, Allah Himself told us, minutes, "Do okay. not bow down for the sun and the moon." And He said, "Only worship, bow down only for the Almighty, the Creator of the moon and the sun." So therefore, we do not worship the crescent. Same apply. What applies to Christians also applies to us. It doesn't mean it's about decoration. And even if I say the moon crescent was found by the time of Ottoman Empire. It doesn't mean 
It's still the context is the same. The context is about decoration. We just have it. But it doesn't mean we worship the moon. There you go. Okay, the, can you finish here? This okay, what other one. question okay. do you have? All right. So, no, I want to respond to your response. Okay. So, I didn't ask him whether Muslims worship the moon or not. I know uh -huh. in the Quran it says don't worship the moon. Uh -huh. Now, the problem is, if the Quran says don't worship the moon, why do you put the... Now, he says, well, why do you put the cross? The Bible says, pick up your cross and follow me. Cross is an integrate part of Christianity. Our belief system comes from the cross. It represents our Christianity. Okay, so we put that symbol. I said, how does the crescent moon represent Islam? Because crescent moon, if you say it's coming from the Ottoman Empire, the Ottoman Empire got it from Con uh, the Constantinople when they conquered it. Con Constantinople, when they conquered that uh, city, they took their symbol, the symbol of Constantinople, which is Istanbul, it used to be the crescent moon because in the Roman time, it had worshipped the moon goddess Diana from the Romans. So they had that symbol and they took, they, they claimed, because I asked him, he, he, he didn't answer the question, but a lot of Muslims have said it comes from Ottoman, uh, Ottoman Empire. Uh, the Ottoman Empire got it from Constantine, which was a moon symbol of Lady, uh, Diana. So they still have the moon symbol and they put it up there. Now, this is all part of history. I'm not making this up. It's all part of history. If you don't know it, just go and read it. It's history of the conquest of Constantine and the symbol. Like just finish. go and... Uh, Shall I talk now? No, okay. So now... Any evidence that the Ottoman Empire... Why, why don't you come in front of camera if you really want to talk? No, I, I, why are you coming I, talking from behind the camera? I'm going to ask him a question from there. I'm going to ask him a question from there. Okay, say it. Go ahead. So, okay, now let me finish. Go ahead, let, let him finish. So now he said history, yeah? So I want the history according to Islam where it says, as we Muslims, we copied the crescent from other people. Do you have anywhere? Where in the history Muslims, we Muslims claim we have the crescent sign on top of our mosque, yeah, where it says we copied or in, in we copied from others, we are following their way, not our own opinion. Do you have any way it says that? I got this from I your don't want brother. To... No, 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 he said that. You're not getting the Ask point. Ask Sam why he said that it what came did from I ask Ottoman. You? A lot of, he, no, he no, said no, that, no. he's standing, no. he's a little bit... No, wait, huh? wait, wait, wait. Seljuk is from the Ottoman. Okay. Seljuk, okay, who's wait, wait. The Ottoman? Okay, okay. you didn't answer yeah, my question what? now. You said we Muslims have crescent sign on top of our mosques, yes? Yeah. And you said according to history, you said we follow others, we copy in others. I we have crescent because of others. No, Constantine, Constantine, okay. the, the, the city's emblem. Are you getting my question now? Moon. Did, did you, you get my did question? You, no, did, did you get I, my if question? If you couldn't repeat what I'm saying, you have I understand to what you said. No, I you understand your just question. Give your interpretation. Okay, you tell of what me. Okay, I'm asking now again. Yeah. Tell me why do we Muslims have crescent sign? What do you think, sir? What do you think? Uh, I have stated this hundred times. Okay, why do you think? Because Muhammad was a Sabian. Uh -huh. It's in the Quran who Sabians are. Sabians were moon and star worshippers. Muhammad was? Muhammad was a Sabian. Who was a Sabian? Muhammad. What's Sabi? Do you know Sabi? Yeah, in they the worship Quran. the moon and the uh, stars. Do you know that? Yes, I know that. Sabi? Yeah, Sabian. Okay, so now you tell me, give me any single verse where in the Quran or in the Hadith says Prophet Muhammad was a Sabian. Okay. Ma you I said, stay him, on your point. The, he was known as a Sabian. No, no, he was not. No, 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 no. 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 Empty okay, words. The thing is. Do you have any I reference? Him, okay, please? so tell me. Okay. Do you okay, have any reference? Okay. Uh, you claim. I'm, I'm claiming this. I'm okay this. with him. I'm claiming You're, this from the Muslim sources. Now no. you tell me from no, Muslim no, no. sources. Show me what the, sources. Show me. Show me. Show me what, what sources. Was the please of show me. I'm very happy. I'm okay. very happy you to show me I in the Quran right or in that. Or every time right you don't have it. Okay. So that okay. means you're speaking so, so, empty so, words. Okay, so are you saying okay. I'm lying? Forget about if that. If I show one. you the reference, yes, you're, uh, you're going to be the I'm liar. I'm telling right? you now. If Prophet I show you Muhammad, the I'm telling you okay. in the entire Quran, yeah. in the entire hadith, yeah. Prophet Muhammad was not a Sabian. If yeah. you give me a reference okay. now, I'm going to be a slave. What was his religion? No reference. Before 40 years old, what was his religion? Muhammad, before Muhammad, he was not an idol worshiper. What was he? He was trying to find a way to worship Allah. He if believed you only Allah word, existed. Because the thing is, that in, in the Hadith, it says, 
Allah empty is talking words. to Muhammad and saying, oh, empty you words, did not no. know me or my empty Quran words. before you became a prophet. That's in their sources. Why he says that? It's in your, it's in your Are you getting the point? I will, I will get you. Okay. He so said, on camera, he make an next week I'll give him the he reference. No reference. Where in this Still hadith now. says, Every Muhammad time reference. Was Allah Watch told out. Muhammad he said, Prophet Muhammad you did not was know a me Sabian. Or the I Quran asked him, show me in the Quran or in the hadith. He said, I'll that bring the reference. He does not worship Every time he will bring the reference. He was not worshipping Allah. So now I'm asking two questions. Shall I ask you two questions? I'm asking two questions now. All the questions now I've asked you, you never, you never answered, so I, and you never showed me you, any evidence. I so now I'm I asking asked two you, questions. Where did you get the moon? I just said to you. Answer my question. I just said to you that was, that you was his decoration. Where, where, decoration. That was got nothing to you. Okay. It's not, listen, got listen, nothing listen. to do. I cannot take a symbol of Satan and put it up there and say, "Oh, this is decoration." Now I'm asking two questions. No, no, no. There is, I a, want there is symbol has a meaning, right? Okay. Shall I ask if, you two questions? If I give you a symbol of something, symbols have a meaning. Now, the crescent moon had a very big meaning because all throughout history, the crescent moon was represented. According to Islam, what does it mean then? Huh? I want context. What? If you said all symbols have meanings, yes. so now I'm asking you, according to Islam, context I want, what does the crescent stand for? Crescent? Yes. Crescent, crescent stands sign. for Allah. Uh, no, according to Islam. Yeah, that is according to Islam. Allah? Wait, Allah. wait, wait, wait. Allah Where is was Hadith? the God of, Where? Oh. Uh, of Quraysh. Ask him who was now, the God are you of getting, Quraysh. Are you getting the point? Sam, you go into Quraysh or whatever. I'm asking Quraysh you. Quraysh or whatever? No. Quraysh is not whatever. Quraysh wait, is wait. your tribe. Now he's going to Quraysh. What and I'm asking about Islam. Quraysh? Who was what? the God of Quraysh? Quraysh? It was al Makkah. It was called al Makkah because it was the moon god. That is the god of Quraysh. You know the like, moon god of wait wait wait. wait. Now when they okay when wait. You, you show me in the Quran. Know. Wait wait wait. They're... You show me. You just speaking now until now empty words. You show me in empty the Quran. Words. No, I want what you saying. I want evidence. You show me in I the Quran. I asked you. Can you I said it's decoration. Can now I show me in the Quran where it Can says. Can I speak? Use the moon as decoration. For Can your I speak? Mouth. Show me in your Quran Can where I it speak? says. Use the moon wait. as decoration. Can I speak? Then I will show you. Can I speak? First of all, you said. We have the crescent sign because they pre 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 uh, represent, Allah, uh, pre uh, represent Allah, yes? Represent Allah. Of so, Quraysh. Okay. Allah of Quraysh. Okay, so now I'm asking, even in the Quran, can you show me where in the Quran it says... Wait, wait, let me finish. Can you show me in the Quran where it says the God of the Quraysh was moon? I will yeah. show you now. Again, I will show now, you. I'm going to show you. Okay, show what me was the name of, What was the now, name of Muhammad's father? Abdul La. So is he the servant of Allah? Which Allah was he servant of? Because he was the Quraysh. He was the servant of now, Allah, again, he, the he's God. Gone to the, okay. Again, Allah, the, the, okay. the moon God Allah. Okay, he watch, was yeah. the servant of watch the out. moon God Allah. Watch out. That was his religion. Okay. It's now very listen, simple. They know me. it, but they keep pretending okay. they're Shall religion. I ask you? Now you're Go just ahead. exposing yourself. Either you don't understand the definition of Allah, or you never understand, understood my question. My question to you was, show me in the Quran or in the Hadith where the Quraysh used to worship a moon. Nowhere. <laughs> I can give you the God of the Quraysh was not moon. Shall I teach you first of all? Yeah. Let me teach him now here. The Quraysh had 360 can gods. You, you're asking your friend. I, I, I will respond that question. Watch out here. I asked him two simple questions, but now he's telling me. The, when I ask him to show me evidence from the Quran or the Hadith, the context where the God of the Quraysh was moon, no way. Wait, I'll come to that point. I'm going to come to that point. I'm going to come to that point. Abdullah, does Abd what does Abdullah mean? La. What? Son, uh, I mean the servant of Allah. Okay, the servant of Allah means moon. The servant of Allah means moon. Okay. Just yes you or saying, no? No, no, no. No, I'm coming, I'm coming to refute your point, no, you're not. which you you're are not refuting just it. going round no. and round. Uh, Quraysh, please answer. Quraysh was a pagan tribe or answer? not? Can you just answer? Can you just answer? I just answered. I'm teaching you today what no, was the God you. of you the Quraysh. You don't know anything about no, yourself. I'm telling you what because was the Quraysh God of the Quraysh. Because Quraysh was a pagan tribe, their God was a Would you allow me to That's tell you, I'm going to use references. If you go and look at the history of Arabs, their God was always the moon God. Okay. Are you, that is the moon look now, the now, this guy I'm asking again, am I talking about, am I asking about Quran or Hadith or am I asking you history? What am I asking you? Quran or history? What did I ask you? History is true, Quran no, is no, false. No, no, wait, wait, wait. You use Quran. 
He was justifying his point. Your Quran is made up man-made uh, stories. It okay, has stories no, no, from all I'm this not, stuff. Sam, I don't believe in your Quran. Pick as an adult, please. I am. Come on. I am. History, Two context. History is he provable. Said according Quran to Quran. Is not provable. No. History is provable. What was the can you turn in for the him? history? Who was the god of me, the Arabs? Can you time for me, please? Who was the god of the Arabs? Can you time for me? Time for you. I want two minutes because he's not letting me speak. Time. Time for me. He's not letting me speak. You, you spoke already. Because he's going round and round. Two minutes. Give me two minutes. So now I'm not going to ask you any simple qu any a, a question about Islam now. I'm going to explain to you everything now. Okay, now it's start for me. So now here, he said Quraysh, the god of the Quraysh was moon god. Yeah? Okay. I asked him to give me an evidence from the Quran or the Hadith. He didn't give me anything. He gave me history. Yeah? Forget about that. According to Islam, the god of the Quraysh was never moon, crescent. We know Ibn Abbas even told us in the hadith, Quraysh used to have 360 idols and they used to worship people who passed away back in the days. They used to believe they were good people. After they died, the devil came to them and other people said, do you know you're forgetting these good people were great people? And then from there, they started having idol, idols. And then that's why Prophet ﷺ said, Allah has looked around the world, people. And he, he got angry with them by worshipping idols. And Prophet said, this is why Allah has sent me. You understand? So now I ask him to show me an evidence from the Quran where Quraysh God is moon. He never gave me, he gave me instead a meaning which is Abdullah. Prophet's father was name was Abdullah. So Abdullah is just a, a word, Arabic word which means servant of Allah. So Allah in Arabic Christians, wait, Christian, servant of Allah does not mean the servant of moon. <laughs> Allah, Allah, according to the context, wait, wait, according to the context of the Quraysh, every religion they got they got god yeah their god they say allah in arabic allah christians use allah muslims use allah pagans, pagans use, use allah. allah so does that mean if arab christian use allah okay, they worship in pagan okay, time is up. the answer time is, is no time is up, so time no is evidence up. Time is up. history can you give me two minutes please two minutes okay again here we go who was the god of Quraysh? allah Okay, who was Allah, Allah? According to context. Now he's, now okay, he's context, interrupting. Yeah. Okay, I didn't okay, interrupt. Okay, so you got to take it, okay? okay? Give me okay, my time. Okay, give me five give more him. seconds because he's yeah, interrupted. Two minutes. Okay, give him. now, listen. Allah for Quraysh was the moon god because their main deity was the moon god. Even though they have 360 deities, they were the smaller gods because they had one god for every day. But their moon god, because they celebrated the moon god yearly, Every year they would have a celebration, Ramadan. Why? Because the Sabians had that tradition. Because they were Sabians, they had the moon god. Because they had once a year, uh, they had 30 days of fasting, and then they had a sacrifice and everything, just like Islam was from the pagans. That was their moon god, and Islam has Ramadan. Islam has the uh, you know, sacrifice and everything. They got it all from there. This is a Sabian religion based on that. They have their moon god because Sabians were started. And why does the Quran say the Sabians will go to heaven? Why? They're worshipping the stars and the moon. They're idol worshippers. How can Quran says that they can they can go to heaven? Like the Christians, the Jews and the Muslims. They're the Al Kitab and how what kitab did they have? What a what a sham this is. What is this? This is this is because Muhammad had to please Sabians because he comes from there. He would to appease them. He would say you would go to heaven too, even though you worship the moon, because he's worshiping the moon. That's how ridiculous the whole statement is. Abdullah is not because the Quraysh was uh, worshiping Allah. If they were worshiping Allah, then why did he come? He came to show them Allah. If they were already worshiping Allah, then what is uh, the use of Muhammad telling them to worship Allah? They were not worshipping Allah. 
I'm going to give you 16 to the 15 seconds. Go ahead. Okay, now again. Give it to now him. again, until now, no evidence from the Quran, no evidence from the Hadith. I give him from the Hadith and the Quran. The God of the Quraysh was not moon. I told you, they Where used to say worship. God, God, what was the name of God, I'm telling God in you, Quran? The God of the Quraysh was called Lat Manat Uzza. Oh, they were the daughters okay, of wait, Allah. Wait, wait, That's wait, what wait. they are called. Wait, Those wait. are the three daughters God, of Allah. Two minutes now. He said he will give okay, it to me. He's interrupting me now. Okay. Now again, his three things now I'm going to refute. The first point is he said Sabians fast. Therefore, they were pagans. Muslims fast, therefore, they were pagans. So according to his logic, Jesus was pagan, Moses was pagan, and David was pagan. Why? Because they used to worship him. Jesus 40 days fasted. So he was a pagan. Did he do a he was a pagan. Did he Wait, give a sacrifice? Again, two minutes. Two minutes. He was a pagan according to his logic. Okay. Another point, he, he's, he's lying again. He said, Sabians, according to Islam, they will go to heaven. Nowhere in the Quran where Allah said Sabians will go to heaven. Nowhere Allah said Christians will go to heaven. Nowhere Allah said Jews will go to heaven. But all of them will go to hell. Another point now, he made, he made another point. Until now, he said history. Now I'm asking two questions him, yeah? I'm asking two questions. Show me in the Bible where back in the days, Jesus' time, there was charges. If there was no charges Jesus' time, where did you get from? Okay, another question. If there was no cross and cross sign back in the days, where did you get from? What day? Where? Who invented? I wanted those evidence. So now, Allah clearly said, non-Muslims, non all of them will go to hell. So he's using, I said, show me in the Quran. I give him Ibn Abbas in the Hadith. Ibn Abbas. And he said the Quraysh believed Allah and Manat and Uzza are the daughters of Allah. Do you know what Allah said? He refuted those three daughters. Because in Islam, all non-Muslims believe Allah is the father and has got children. The only religion, religion believe Allah does not have children is Islam. Christians believe God has children. Jews believe they are the children of God. Serbians, same. They believe. Hindu believe this. this. Hindus believe the same. Serbians, the same. All of them, they believe God has children. And Allah has refuted the three daughters, Allah and Manat and Uzza, in Quran, chapter 53, verse 19 to 23. But Christian quote only from 50, verse, chapter 53, verse 19 only, where Allah said, What about Allah and Uzza and Manat? But they don't read the next verses where Allah said, These are the okay, names it's you called, just time mentioned. Is up, so Allah refuted those names. Allah yeah, said in the Quran, okay. has no children. Allah and okay. Uzza and Manat okay. are from the ideology okay. of non-Muslims, same as stop? Christians. Are you going to stop? Okay, thank you. So here's the reference. Uh -huh. Al Bakra, two sixty two. I like this buzz. Okay. Go on. Okay. Right. Yeah. You like it? You, you know read it. English? You read it. Okay. Yeah, you read it. Watch out, yeah. Yeah. Let's All Christians it. use this buzz. Okay. Read it now. You're wasting my chapter time. Chapter two. Yeah. Surah Bakara, yeah. The chapter cow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Verse sixty two. Listen here. Okay. Go you know ahead. English? Do you yeah, understand? Yeah, go ahead. Allah said, "Indeed, they believers." The believers. No. Not they. No, I Indeed, don't want the, the believers. No, I'm not reading the English. Okay, let me let me read it. The English is wrong okay. already, okay. I can tell you. All right, he's gonna change the word. No, I'm not gonna let him One by no. I will tell you. Yeah. Don't worry. Okay. No, no, no. I will read this I one. The it's chance. the same. No, no, okay, no. you read. You give, give me my chance, minutes. yeah? You gave, gave, okay. I, I gave him a chance okay. to read it. He didn't like want to read it. He wants to change the word. Okay, here's the word. Okay. Do you want to talk? This is two my minutes, time. Yeah, two minutes. Do you want yeah, how many minutes? Two mi you took four minutes. Okay. Uh, I'll take two minutes. Two minutes. Yeah. Okay, give me two minutes. Okay. okay. Indeed, the believers, Jews, Christians, and one, yeah. Sabians, uh -huh. yeah. whoever truly believes in uh, Allah whoever and the last day and himself. does Watch good out. will I like have this their reward with their Lord. And there will be no fear for them, nor they will grieve. Now, tell okay. me something. Are Sabians... Believers, okay, are Sabians believers? No, you Sabians finish. are pagans. Pagan. They are believing. They are worshiping the stars and the moon. Yes. Okay. How can Muhammad say that they are believers? 
That means he is a Sabian himself because he's trying to pretend that the you know, just he, watch out. this is something that he changed the word. The word in the verse, he changed himself in front of the camera. Yes, he's not going to get away with this. Now he's got Shall it. I speak? No, no, no. It's not my time, okay. my friend. Give me my time. Okay, okay? his time is still going. Okay. He's, he's running my clock. Okay. I trust him. Okay, okay, now, he keeps going back to the church. He was not there and this and that. Another verse. Another verse. We have another one. Uh, al, uh, it's the Mad same context. Mata, al Maida, the same. Al Maida, 569. Uh, 569. Indeed, the believers, Jews, Sabians, and Christians, whoever truly believes in Allah mm. and the last day does good, and there will be no fear for them, nor will they uh, grieve. Okay, so that means there is no fear for the Sabians along with the Jews, Christians. First of all, that tells us that Jews, Christians have the true word of God because if they didn't have the true word of God, they wouldn't be going to heaven. So that refutes Islam, contradicts itself, every other That's word right. contradicts That's itself. Right. Okay, so the now the contradiction is not one fold but two fold. First, Sabians are believers in Allah, and Christians and Jews are going to also because they have the truth also. What kind of religion this is? But now he comes back to nothing else he has left. So he comes out, oh, there was no church. Where does church come from? Well, there was persecution in the He's first 300 years. More Christians were persecuted. Okay, two no, no. I, okay, that okay. one is the same. All right, fine. So now again, he's just exposed. The verse himself exposing himself. The verse is it's like exposing like himself. What? So now, do you understand anyone how, English how? here? You, no, no, okay, tell us. Let me know. say. Tell us how I'll I repeat what he said, yeah? yeah he's just exposing yeah, himself. Go, go ahead. Allah said, In the Ladina, those Amanu believe. Yeah? Believe, the Muslims, the Vaz. Okay. Well, Ladina. Hadu and those who became Jews and Christians and Sabians, Allah said, Whoever believes, condition is what? Man amana billah. The condition is whoever believes in Allah. So, my question to you do you believe in Allah, Muslim Islamic God? I the context of the verse. The believe context of the verse. I don't believe so in So how can God. you go no, to heaven no, then? No, we don't According to the verse. Indeed, the believers. Uh, who again. are the believers? No, he minutes, tells, again, tells you minutes. who the believers. Now no, he's minutes. he's in front of two the minutes. camera. Two this minutes. is why I love no, the believers. Two minutes. No, no. Because he's gonna show no, himself to be a no. He's no, no. You can't talk. He can't talk. He can't talk. He can't talk. Believe on Allah. Wait, wait, wait. And Allah said in the Quran. Okay, wait. Thank you. Wait. My team is, my team is told him to, tell him to be quiet. Tell him to be quiet. Tell him to be quiet. Tell him to be quiet now. I'm no, exposing the same verse. So now I'm asking. So they will, wait, wait, they will not be forgiven. I'll come to you. Don't worry. So now I'm asking. Allah said. Allah, wait, Allah mentioned in the verse, in the same verse he's quoting. Allah said. He mentioned four groups, no, no, yeah? No, Allah said, Look, is a two minutes, two minutes. Well, please wait, respect. Go there. Go somewhere else. Go speak to him. Go speak to him. Go ahead, finish your point. You got two minutes left. No, two minutes. Okay, give him two minutes. So now, the verse, Allah mentioned four groups. The first group, Muslims, Amanu. Always in the Quran, Amanu, the believers here are Muslims. And then Allah said, Walladina. The context, listen carefully, yeah? Can I speak? Can I speak? The context, Allah said, in the Ladina, those Amanu who believe are Muslims. And then Allah said another context, well Ladina, those who became Jews, one Nasara, Christians. He never mentioned, the, he never called the verse itself, the Jews, Christians, and Sabians are the believers. But condition them to go to the heaven is, Man amana billah wal yawmil akhir. Those who believe in Allah. So my question to him, does he believe Allah, Islamic God? If he believes, then he will go to heaven. Does he believe? No. If he doesn't believe, the verse is, 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 doesn't talk about him. The verse Allah never called Jews, Christians and Sabians are the believers. But he said the first bit is about Muslims. And the rest he said, well, ladina hadu, those who became Jews. Christians, Sabians. So Allah never called the non-believer non-believer unbelievers Muslims, the believers. But he called them unbelievers. In many verses in the Quran, even in this verse context, Allah said if they believe in Allah. So how can they go to heaven if they don't believe in Allah? The reason of what? To, them to go to heaven? Believing in Allah. So he's gone. He's running away.
He's running away. He just exposed himself. Imagine the verse said, Man amana billah. What does that mean? Anyway, everyone knows that. Whoever believes in Allah. So my question to them, Christians, Serbians, and Jews, thank you. If you don't believe in Allah, then can they go to heaven? According to the verse, what it says, if you believe in Allah, and what? Last day. How can they go to heaven, according to the verse, okay, if they don't believe up. in Allah? Do you believe in Allah? Your time no. is up. And you never answered when was your time is up, bro. charge okay, was found you stop taking my and time? Christian okay, okay, cross okay. signs. Now, he keeps messing up this verse. <laughs> it keeps saying, indeed, the believers, Jews, Sabians, no, and Christians. No, 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 and in the, I just read. I just went to the Arab wait, speaker. Wait, yeah. He wait, read yeah. it. He wait, said yeah. that is what it says. Wait, yeah. wait And I'm going to call wait, him he's here lying. to check your Arabic. I know Arabic. Do you know what? No, what, what means? No, I just got, uh, you know what, what means? The verse is there. He's right there. Okay, so what does it mean? Okay. What means under? Let me read for and, you. I'm not yeah, hiding. And, I'm, and, I can't lie about the Quran. Hold it. Okay. Look here, indeed the believers. See, the way they wrote even the verse is wrong. Look here. Who Look wrote here. this verse? The no. meaning even is wrong. Here, no, no, show, no, no, let me show no, the no, camera, please. I need I to show, show the camera. I need to show the camera, please. I need to show the camera. Like yeah, I need to show the camera. Show, show, show the camera. Somebody's okay, camera. everyone see here, the verse, it doesn't say and. But in Arabic, it says in the Ladina, those who believe and the Jews, Christians. But here, it doesn't say and Jews and Christians. But in Arabic it says and Jews and Christians. So the first bit is about Muslims and the rest it says and the Jews and Christians and Serbians. But here it says those who believe Jews, Christians. It doesn't say and here. So wrong. The context, the meaning is wrong. Clearly. So the meaning, the correct meaning is I said those who believe, believe Muslims and and, and yeah, and. Allah never called the verse Jews, Christians, and Serbians and are the believers. The verse. Yeah, yeah. Because Allah said the believers, those who believe, which are Muslims. Okay. And He said, well, where means and. Okay. And those who became Jews and Christians are Serbians. Okay. Whoever believe in Allah. The condition is whoever believe in Allah. No, are you listening? Are you listening? Why did he mention them? Two conditions I'm refuting. He could just say the Muslims. That's I'm it. refuting. No, the Anybody condition is. Muslims. No, I'm saying the, condi the conditions you to go to heaven is what? Three conditions. You have to be a believer, okay. according to the verse. And you have to believe in Allah, Islamic God. Do you believe my question? I want yes or no. We believe in Allah, we believe in no, do you believe Islamic God? Not Islamic Allah. So we Allah is saying, Man Allah, Allah. Allah. Do you believe in Islamic God? No, it's a so moon how god. can you go to heaven then? He's a moon god. According to the but verse, you're not going to heaven. Go to the moon god heaven. I just told you, you the verse is saying, I'm not saying. Not saying. <laughs> Listen, the condition I'm not making up is the verse making. Allah said already three conditions. Okay. So in order you to go, so the verse, okay. try another one. Is it time is up, right? Try another one. Okay. That one you so go exposed. Okay, time is try up. Try another okay. one. I'll get the two minutes. He just cannot get away from his. I he's trapped in this situation where it's saying, indeed the believers come and Jews. And. Say yeah, and. Yes. Don't, yeah, don't friend, lie. It's I'm not lying. Quran.com. I'm not lying. The translation is wrong. Okay, here. Or Sabians, word by word. By Look here. Come scholars. here. Please come Muslim here. Muslim scholars that I will know show him. English. They know I will Arabic. Now, they trust me. Some Muslims, most of the people who translate this one are not Arabs. Because most Arabs do not speak in English. Let me tell so you one thing. So now all the translations okay, online on Quran. No, not all of them are wrong. Not all of them. So now look, wait, wait. Come here. And I will show you the verse. In, even here, look here. And where? And in Arabic, what it means. And in Arabic. Here. Thank you. Come here. I'm showing to the camera the word Allah used in the Quran said. Can, I show, can you show it yeah, to me? Yeah, it's here. I didn't see it. It's, and I'll put the speaker here. And here. And, what is that? You and no, I'll show you the meaning. Show me the verse. You mean, you mean, you, okay, you mean let's the do verse. this. Here, let's do and, this. Copy it and okay. show it. Yeah, copy Shall the I copy? Words okay, and I'm put happy it on Google because Translate. I cannot lie about my Quran. In oh, Islam, yeah, yeah, I cannot can. lie about the you Quran. You can do takia. Okay, no, I can't. In Islam, I can. You do takia. You do takia. No us. No. I can yeah, give you many verses. Concept. No, you have the concept of takia. I can no, give you many no. verses. Yeah. Shall I give you in the Bible? Yeah, sure. Uh, now you want to uh, I'm not. I'm not India. diverting the Where topic. Where are you from? I am from. Where are you from? Okay, here. Go ahead. Yes. Good for you. Look here. I'm not from India. I'll show you here. Look, wait here. It's what verse? Because there are many verses. This verse is 119, yeah? Let me show you now. 
569. What? what you 119. Okay, 119, you, page 119. 119, yeah. No, the verse is 119. Okay, verse is, but why does it say 569 then? No, the, no, the page. Yeah. I want the verse. Okay. 119. No, okay. that's not 119. Page. I want the verse. 569. I thought you knew the Quran. No, man. the way you quoted, well, I you thought you were quoting the other one. You know, just repeat it like a parrot. You don't yeah. understand the Quran. Here, no, here. That's your problem. here look it's here. Sand, right? Thank you, I found under here. The actual meaning is here, I found it. Okay, Look Which here. What side is that? This is Shakir. Shakir. Okay, so look one here. translation of the Quran says yes. one thing. I'm not lying. The, in so the you Arabic, changed the Quran? No, no, the Quran they misunderstood. Changed. They don't know the, the meaning. Quran has one no, meaning. No, the meaning, they don't understand the meaning. Don't divide the topic. I was here to correct you, you, know, you about the Quran, the, Quran. the meaning. I read from Quran.com. I'm not correcting the Quran. I'm correcting the no, translators. No, 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 don't act, okay. don't act as, a, as a child, oh, yeah, by the way. Yeah, I'm correcting the translators, not the Quran. Don't get me wrong. See, you misquoted so now. You're, you're so now here, <laughs> look here. All four groups can go to heaven according to this. Right? No, no, according to this verse, it no, doesn't no, say that. It says only their condition, Muslims. their condition. Listen, listen. Only Muslims. Do you understand English, first of all? I repeat for you, I repeat for you now again. Allah said, those who believe are the Muslims and Jews. But wait, are you not listening? Are you not listening? Are you deaf? No, do you understand first? Do you understand English? Do you understand English? Allah said, the believers, Muslims. Can you show and then he the said, Quran? and Jews. Okay, okay, okay. The verse itself, Allah never oh, called. Can I speak? Can I speak? Can I speak? No. Can you read the verse? According to the verse. Read this version. Can you read it? Yeah, I'll read this. We don't this. want to listen to you. Okay. We want to see what your verse says. I'll just pause. Okay, let's read it. Okay, here. Surely, chapter 5, verse 69. Allah said, surely those who believe are the Muslims, yeah? And he said, those and, yeah? And he never called the Jews, Christians, and Sabians believers. He said, and those who are Jews and the Sabians and the Christians, whoever, condition is what? Whoever believes in Allah, Islamic God. Yeah, Allah. Okay, Allah. And then he said, Wal yawmil akhir, and the last day. You don't have wa to wait, wait. Wa okay. amila salihan, and they do good deeds. So now I'm asking, if you insult Allah, Islamic God, and Prophet Muhammad, is that a good deed according to the context? In order you to go to heaven, you have to believe in Allah. You have to be a Jew, Christian, it, Sabian. You have to believe you in have Allah. To believe. And the last okay, day do you believe in Allah? Right? Do you believe in Allah? Yeah, no, Allah in is Islamic God. God. Allah is no, God. do you believe in Islamic Allah. God? No, no, no. Allah. Do you, you believe Allah. in Allah Islamic is God? Perfect word for God? No. Do, do we believe, believe in God? In we Islamic believe in God. one God. No, do you believe, believe in Allah, my God? Do you believe in no, Allah, I'm asking, God? Do you believe in Allah, my God? No, no, no. No, no what is the name of I your God? Yes. What is the name of yes your God? Or no. no. Tell me the name of who's yes Muslim God. See, Muslim God has no name. I'm asking. Simple. I believe in Allah. What do you say? Say again. Allah in the Bible, topic. in the Arabic Bible. What's your Allah God's name? Allah means God. Okay, what's your God's name? Yahweh. Yahweh. Thank you. What's the meaning of Yahweh? I am. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Do you sure? Are you sure? Yeah. Shall I show okay. you? Shall now, I prove it? Okay. He's changing wait, wait, the wait. topic. I'm not changing. He's changing the topic. You change the topic. It says those who believe in what? Allah. Okay. I asked him what is the name Allah? of God? He said it's a Muslim God. Do you believe Allah, in Allah. Islamic God? Islamic Allah. Okay, thank no, you. What's the name okay, of wait, your wait. Islamic God? Do we have same what God? What is the name? Do we have same God? You said that no, we have. No, I'm asking. You believe Allah, you God, believe yes? In the, do you believe, you believe God? in moon God? No, do you believe... Oh, your so Allah now he doesn't believe God. my Allah. Then how okay, can he go to heaven? Okay. How can we have the same God when you are worshiping the moon God? Thank you, then you're not going to heaven then. Huh? You have to believe my Allah, you to go to heaven. I can go to the... You're out. Your moon God Allah has a paradise with go to heaven to hell. With your moon God, you have a heaven where there is women You are sex. Sex is haram here. Out of context. Out of context. Wine is haram here, but it's halal over there. You have sex in the Bible. No, no, no. That's what you're... Of context. Now he's getting exposed. He quoted a verse in the Quran. He said, Jews, Christians, and Sabians are the believers. The he and I read it him, in front of you. I've He's saying, wrong. I'm going to correct the I've translation. Wrong. Allah said, those, the believers, and, and he never called in the Quran, entire Quran, if you show me where Allah called Jews, Christians, and Sabians are I the believers. I just showed him the verse. There's nowhere in the Don't Quran believe, Allah I'm called them the believers. They will go to heaven, will believers. Go to heaven not and believers. Allah so never heaven. said they will never go to heaven unless yes, they, they believe Islamic God. Do you believe no, we have the same God? It doesn't God? say that. Look, it doesn't say Islamic Allah. It says Allah. Do you believe 
Allah means God. What Allah is that? In the Quran, no, no, what Allah, Allah is, is that? that? It doesn't say Wait, Islamic it. Allah. I'm asking context. No, no, no. I'm asking context. context. What Allah is that? Okay. Allah can Quran. mean. Who is okay. talking in the Quran? Okay. Okay, who's Allah in, in the Arabic Can you answer? Quran? Can who's you Allah? answer? Who's no, Allah in the Arabic context? Who's Allah in the Arabic Bible? Oh. Before he was Arabic using Bible, Abdullah. Allah means God. Two minutes, please. Two minutes. Two God. minutes. Now Jews, it's time to Christians him. believe in God. Two minutes. To two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes, please. Two minutes. Go two minutes. The moon and the stars. Two minutes. Two minutes That's what his point is. Time he cannot get away from it. Two minutes. Have you done? Have you done? Shall I speak? Okay, now he's exposing himself. Taqiyya here now. Before he said Abdullah means the moon God. And now he said Allah means God in any language. God. So therefore, the Quran, the God of Allah, he believes in Allah, which means God. So now you're telling me, according to your logic, you believe two the God of, and then I'll talk of for two the God, to prophet this. God. I'll respond to that. So Go now ahead. he believes the God of Abdullah, which is prophet's father's God. Because Abdullah, he said he's pagan, and now he's saying Allah means God only. So I'm asking the context of the verse. Who is speaking in the Quran? What Allah is speaking? What God is speaking in the Quran? My Allah or your Allah? What's the answer? My Allah. So the verse says the context of the Quran is Two if minutes. you believe in my Allah. Allah. If you believe you in my him? Allah, the context of the Quran, who speaks the Quran? He's him? God or my Allah? My Allah. If Allah, my Allah is speaking okay, in the yeah. Quran there's and Allah clock, says those who believe, the Muslims and Jews and Christians and Sabians, if they believe in Allah, what Allah is that the context? He wants to go round and round to twist the context. If you are to use the Quran, the context of the Quran, we know who is speaking in the Quran, Allah, Islamic God. So Allah said, if you believe in him, you will go to heaven. So my question to him, do you believe the God of Islam, which is in the Quran? Yes, the answer is no. So then how can you go to heaven? So you have empty words here. Now I'm asking, I'm asking two questions now. I keep repeating now. I'm repeating two questions now. Show me in the Bible where there was churches existed in Jesus' time. Nowhere. Second, show me where and the Christian cross existed in Jesus' time. Nowhere. So he said, we follow the Bible because the Bible teaches us to have moon and cross, Christian cross on our churches. So I want the evidence there was, there, is there, was there any moon and cross sign back in the days, Jesus' time, or any churches? Nowhere. So you invented as well. So he was saying, we invented the crescent on top of our mosque. So he also invented, there was no so that time back time in the days. Finished. There was no churches okay, and Christian cross. So I'm going to respond. He made like 10 different points in uh -huh. this time. I'm going to take one by one. Uh -huh. First of all, he said, Abdullah. Well, how can that be the, you know, God of, uh, of, you know, that's Allah. The thing is that Allah is a generic term for God. Pagan gods are also Allah. Now I asked him, what is the name of the Islamic Allah? Because if in the verse it says Islamic Allah or the name of Islamic Allah, you know, whatever that name is, because we don't have a name in Islam for Allah. It's just called Allah. Allah means there's a lot of pagans, there's a lot of Christians or Jews or Hindus. They all have Allah. Allah he just means the God. Of Allah. Two minutes, yeah. So there is no God in Islam. That that's that's why the when I say the pagan Allah was because the Sabians would call their God Allah in Arabic. That's the name for God. But that God does not mean he's referring to the God of Islam or Judaism or Christianity. That Allah means the moon god because that was their highest god in the Quraysh the whole tribe they had 360 gods their minor gods the major god the moon god where the temples were built for the moon god Bushera, all those places no. historically you can find out the temples were made for moon god that's the main deity so that's what he's trying to get away from is that the main deity is the moon god sabians worship the moon god quran verse i showed him he said that translation is wrong. I have shocker translation. He put the word and, and and means this and that and that. It's very simple. We read the verse 10 times in front of him. It says, those who believe Christian Jews, Sabians will have nothing Don't to say fear. Don't say those who believe. I gave you okay. the, the So translation. it's very simple. I showed it to the camera. Anybody can look at the words. It does not mean anything other than all the Muslims, all the Christians, all the Jews, and all the Sabians have nothing to fear because they believe in Allah. Do the Muslims believe that Christians don't believe in Allah? Or the Jews don't believe in Allah? 
Of course they know. They even say that we worship the same Allah as you worship. So they know which Allah we are talking about. Two minutes. So they know two that. Minutes. Is it time? Two minutes, yeah. Okay, that's right. okay, time for me, two minutes. Again here, he repeated the same thing anyways. I just showed the verse that in Arabic I read and I translated in English. He, the, the translation he had was, is missing, the word and is missing there. And I showed him what? Allah said, Inna ladina amanu ladina. He said, and those. He never called the, in the verse Jews, Christians, and Serbians they're are the believers. believers. Wait, believers. two minutes here. Yeah? In the verse, nowhere it says they are believers. But Allah called the Muslims believers in the verse. But Jews and Christians and Sabians, Allah never called them in the entire Quran are the believers. But in many verses, Allah told us Jews and Christians, they will go to heaven. And Sabians, anyone who die as a non-Muslim, uh, non all of them will end up in hellfire 100%. I can give over 100 verses in the Quran and over 1,000 hadith in the teaching of Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Wasallam said, everyone shall go to heaven except Illa man Abba. And Prophet Sallallahu the Sahaba said, Ya Rasulullah, who are them? And Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam replied, said, whoever rejects me will go to hell. So, and Allah said in the can Quran, and Allah said, yes, yes, I can give you the hadith. Yeah. Allah said in the Quran, chapter 5, verse 72 to 73, Christians will end up in the hellfire. No doubt about that. Allah said, do not, those who call Jesus God, Allah said, they are disbelievers, clearly. In English is, indeed, they are the disbelievers. Those who say Jesus himself is the God. So clear cut, you cannot come here with your taqiyya and you're telling me you believe in Allah. If you believe in Islamic God, we Muslims, I'm telling you now, Christians, Jews do not believe in Islamic God. Clear cut, Allah said, no, if you Islam believe, says they believe in no, the Jewish no, God. I don't say that. <laughs> no Muslim believes that. Okay, your time I'm telling is up. you now, that clear His cut. His time is up. You can't use okay. two minutes. No, no, your time is up now. Okay, two minutes. two minutes. Again, he just keeps has nothing to do, say but just to say that, you know, we, the, the verse doesn't say that. The verse doesn't say that. We showed that the verse says the believers, ah, and the, the believers thing. are. Christian, Jews, and everybody, it says that in Same their repeating. language, Same in their, not one verse, we showed you two verses. You can say one verse is mis uh, mistranslated, but it's there are two the verses same saying exactly no, it's the, the same, same verse. verse. Same verse there came two to... different verses I no, gave you. It's same, no, same it's the meaning. same meaning. Same meaning, but same two words. different places, the same, same meaning, the same word. No, and he, 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 talking about, I told him the meaning. And in both instances, is mentioning I gave him the verse itself. And it's mentioning Christian, Jews, and Sabians. I just told him. Twice. So it's not once. Maybe there's a mistake once, but there's twice in two yes. different places. He's using and same. always mentioned. Okay, so the Quran minutes. and this one, two always minutes, yeah. he has to just, what is his response to that? What is your response to that? Nothing. He has no response to the fact that there are two different places where this is mentioned, that there are believers, are Jews, Christians, and Sabians who are moon God worshippers, and, and that's the problem with them. Even that they find something in their face, they want to deny it. And then they say, we are not committing taqiyya. What else is taqiyya? Taqiyya is lying about your religion to, to save your religion. Because your religion cannot be saved by truth. Because the truth has nothing to do with Islam. Nothing ever to do with Islam has nothing to do with it. Your religion has everything to do with moon god worship. Your mosques are full of the moon. Why do you have that? Oh, we don't know it's decoration. Where in the Quran it says it's decoration? His words are, this is decoration. Where in the Quran, I'm asking him again, where in the Quran, show me where it says, put the moon up as a decoration. That's the, supposed to be the, the house of your God, Allah. And in Allah's moon, uh, uh, house, you're going to put a symbol of the moon God. Now, this symbol has very ancient uh, symbol. It Two has minutes. been represented forever as a, as a moon God. Two minutes. Now again, he said two verses, yeah, two verses, those two verses have same meaning, but he's trying to twist the verse, the meaning also he used same translation, yeah, same translation, same person who is translating the verse. So that one, I, I, I already answered that one. So now I'm asking, he said, show me in the Quran where it says the moon is for there to do, for decoration. So, and I'm saying in Islam, if Allah does not say this is haram, 
we are liable to do it. If Allah says this is haram, we stay away from it. I'm asking you politely, show me in the Quran or in the Hadith where Prophet said you cannot have moon signs on the mosque, nowhere. So, and I'm asking, he's got Christian cross on top of churches he invented, show me nowhere. Where it says in the Jesus, Bible, you show me in the, the Bible. On top of the okay, book. show me where Quran says you cannot put Christian on the top of mosque. Same. So you stand for nothing again. I'm not taking your so time. Now, so now I'm asking. So now I'm asking, he said moon, God or whatever. Christians, they claim to follow Jesus. Yes, and we claim to follow Prophet Muhammad no, So God. now I'm asking, I have evidence. I practice what Prophet Muhammad practiced. Christians here practice triune God. The triune God, Jesus never worshipped okay, the sun. The no, you said. You're changing no, the topic. No, you, you chose Stay, stay you chose on the him. moon, no, moon already, I already answered that one. No, you didn't. I already answered. No, I refuted. The, you, you said, said show me. You I already answered. No, I already answered. You said it's decoration. You're not getting I my said, point. Where is the, the Quran? No, where is okay. The where is that in the Bible? It says have Christian cross on churches. Can you, you answer have? my question? No, you have. I'm asking the same question. Do you Can have? you answer my question? I'll okay. answer that one. Do you have that one? Do you have in the Bible I do. where I it do. says no? Where it I says do. no? Where I it do. says and specifically word that. by word? See, the thing is, I have Christian cross the on the charges. Where is the decoration? I just said there's nowhere. Did you answer it? There's nowhere. I just told you. But there's nowhere. I said there's nowhere in the Quran. Allah said, do not have it. If Allah would say do not have it, then we would stay away from it. Like Allah told us, do not worship the moon. We stay away from it. Do not worship the sun. We stay away from it. But Allah never told us stay away to have crescent on mosque on top of the mosque. We can live it. It's not mosque. It's not compulsory. What, about the stone what do you mean? Kissing the stone. So do you want that? Shall I answer that one? Stop kissing. You kiss the Christian cross. I didn't yes. ask that question. No, I'm didn't saying ask you that kissing stone Why is same you as the stone? kissing Why did the Muhammad Christian kiss cross. The stone that I'm was just kissed by pagans. I'm just telling him, you. The I'm pagans used you. to kiss that stone. I'm just telling you. You're not listening. Sabian, same as same as you you kiss the Christian cross. Same as come on you. Uh, uh, you kiss you know, anyways. You don't do it. But Some anyways, Christian kiss. Even if you are they they worship? about the Christians, okay, do they worship? I'm no, asking. That's a fallacy. Uh, no, no. Like because Can you, you do it, you do it. No. Are you going to do answer? everything the Christians do? Answer? Are you saying you're following okay. Christians? No, then, no. Then why don't you I don't mean by that. No, I, no context, you're following Christianity. No, you, you, don't, don't, you're not getting the point. No, I'm getting My the point. My point is, point is you, see, you, you kiss the cross, so minutes. we kiss the cross. I didn't throne. finish two minutes. Okay, then why don't you kiss the cross? If you're going to follow what you're doing. Shall I answer two minutes? Give me two minutes. So now he's going to his stone now. Before it was crescent, now it's stone. I'll answer all that. Two minutes, yeah? Two minutes. So now, he's talking about stone, yeah? You're getting two minutes again. Yeah, the stone in the Bible, Old Testament, they have a holy stone as a pillar. Having a holy stone as a pillar in the Bible, in Old Testament, is the way of the prophet's path. So having a stone as a pillar in the Old Testament, doesn't ha it doesn't have any problem. It, if I mention now in Genesis chapter 28, verse 16 to 18, Jacob had a holy stone as a pillar. Okay, wait, wait. Had a holy a stone, a holy stone as a pillar. Joshua same. Christians here are criticizing the stone in Islam will talk in Judgment Day. Same. In the book of Joshua, chapter 24, verse 26 to 28, Joshua said, This stone had what God said, and he shall be witness everything. He shall be witness against you. So if they are to criticize a stone talking in the Quran or in Islam, they also have a stone talking in the Bible. And they also have a stone as a holy, as a holy as a, a pillar, as a holy Jacob, yes, go to Genesis chapter 28, open for me please Genesis chapter 28 verse 16 to 18 Jacob had a stone, a holy stone as a pillar, so why yeah, do you have pillow, yeah. why do you have problems when Muslims have a holy stone as a pillar, you have problem with that but in the Old Testament Jacob had a holy stone as a pillar, you have no problem with that you don't criticize about that, do you know why? because dogs bark when they see strangers but when they see their own people they do not bark so you can bark until to the end stone it's got nothing it's got no problem okay, according time. to old testament so what else do you want it's my time right okay your time is up yes Sorry. okay now and look at the okay please be quiet now. okay okay now the thing is jacob's rock 
that he was sleeping on, you know, he used that place because he had a vision. He saw, he went to heaven there, and he had the vision. So he wanted to mark that place. Did he kiss the stone? Did the stone forgive his sins? No. Were the pagans kissing that stone too? No. In Islam, Muhammad kisses a stone that was kissed by pagans. They thought that their sins would be forgiven. And Muhammad said, kiss this stone and your sins will be forgiven. Now that stone sits in Kaaba, Muslims are fighting each other to kiss the stone. Why? So their sins can be forgiven. You, in Islam, Allah does not forgive sins. The stone does. Because you can kiss, you can commit murder, rape, whatever. Yeah, he's, he's counting. You can commit any, any crime as a Muslim, and then you can go to uh, Kaaba because you're rich. You go and kiss it, forgiven. Why? Because the stone is going to forgive you. In the Bible, the stone never forgave any. Uh, it was a symbol, yes, because he was sleeping, using that as a pillow. He marked that spot because he had the vision of God in that spot. He's misquoting the Bible, trying to justify his pagan belief of stone kissing. He already showed that the moon belongs to their religion, not because of water man, not because of because Muhammad was a Sabian, his god was a moon god. Second, he says, you know, the pagan, oh, you, you guys are doing the same, but yeah. his argument is you kiss the uh, cross, so we, we kiss the stone. Oh, you, you, your Bible has that. If he's following Christianity, then he should follow Christianity. If he has Islam, he should have Islam, because in Christianity, we don't do anything pagan. These are all pagan rituals that they are performing. That's what it is. Now, I'll, I'll just briefly answer his question about the, he keep bringing up, oh, there were no churches when Jesus was alive. When Jesus was alive, there was a Roman government who was persecuting the church. There were churches underground in people's houses. Okay, I'm finished. Okay, now again. Now I found out how he doesn't even understand his own Bible. He said stone does not give, forgive sins, yes? And he said stone itself in Islam forgives sins. And now he lied. No hadith, no Quran where Allah said the stone itself forgives sins. It's the same as stone by touching the stone, Allah forgives your sin. Same as if he is using logic, he's selling logic, I can use as well. According to him, water itself forgives sins. Because according to the Christianity, if you are baptized in water, the water forgives sins. Then according to his logic, washes away according your to sins. his logic, washes the washes water. Away your no, he, sins. Uh, two minutes again, yeah? Two minutes. Two minutes, yeah? Two minutes, yeah? He said in Islam, the stone itself forgives sin, yeah? Nowhere in the Quran, no hadith, by his logic. Because if you touch this uh, the holy stone, Allah forgives our sins, yes? Holy stone then, that was pagan wait, stone. Two minutes Give again. Two minutes, two minutes now. But again. that holy stone okay, was pagan no, no, stone. No, no, two minutes. Two minutes. A pagan two minutes, that stone. Two minutes. Two minutes, yeah? So now, according to his logic, water forgives his sins. Because by, by getting baptized in the water, that forgives your sins. And he said the stone cannot forgive for sins in the Bible. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 5, chapter 6, verse 5 to 7, Isaiah was forgiven by his sins by a call. He, a call, imagine we kiss the, uh, the stone, yeah? We kiss, we go and kiss it. But Isaiah didn't go to kiss the coal, but the coal itself kissed Isaiah and said, your sins are forgiven. And he said, stone uh, does not forgive sins. Yeah? We have a coal teach, kissed Isaiah, prophet Isaiah, and his sin was forgiven. According to his logic, coal forgives sin. So his God is coal. Is coal. Yes, what I'm quoting, God reference. Go to Isaiah. Show me, show me. Go to Isaiah. Go for yourself. I'm referencing. I'm quoting. Okay. So now I'm saying Jesus' sin was forgiven by water, not God, according to his logic. Because in John, in the if Gospel the of Matthew, chapter 3, verse 13 to 17, Jesus was baptized. The, bapt the reason of baptism is to forgive God, your, to forgive your sins. So basically, the water forgave Jesus' sin. Then according to him, he said, the stone forgives him, therefore, moon god. Before he was saying we be he believes in Allah, and now he said, before I believe, yeah, I know, Islam does not worship the moon, and now he said, Islam worships moon god. He's contradicting his own words. If you are here just to speak, irrelevant, and opposing your own words, then you should know and learn how to speak. Make up your okay, words. I think your time is up. Okay, two minutes, I never finished. So he wants the verse, yeah? I'm showing the verse. Isaiah is here. Yeah, six, five, 
is here. Is here. Was the call itself kissed the Asaya? The call itself kissed the Asaya, and it for, his sin was forgiven. Is here. Woe to me, Isaiah chapter six, verse five. He said, "Woe to me! I cried, I am ruined, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I live among a people of unclean lips, and my eyes have seen the King, the Lord Mighty." Chapter Isaiah chapter six, verse six again. It says, then one of the seraphim flew to me with a live coal in his hand, which he had, he had taken, which he had taken with tongs from the altar. Okay. Listen, vision, vision, remember. So vision is a real, it's real in the Bible. Even prophet, prophet Abraham, God was speaking to him. Oh, so are you telling me Prophet Abraham who was speaking to God in a vision? Are you telling me that's a lie? Oh, oh, so vision is real. Prophet Abraham is real, but this one is not real. And he doesn't say vision. Stop lying. He doesn't say vision. He doesn't say vision. He doesn't say vision. Stop lying now. Come here to the camera. You get exposed. He doesn't say vision here. Come. And vision, according to the Bible, is real. Prophet Abraham was speaking by God in a vision. Also, Daniel chapter 7, verse 13 to 14. Daniel was speaking to God in a vision. So, thank you. No, he's seen in a vision. Prophet, oh, so now this one, according to you, Taqiya, Taqiya Alex, this one is a vision. The context is no vision. It's no vision, the context. The context is no vision. Show me, come here. Come here, vision. Show. Come here, come here. Come expose yourself. Come here. Show me in a vision, the verse. Come here. Come here. Come here. Okay, so this was talking about. Okay, uh -huh. so yeah, okay. Yes. Who is the seraphim? So read, 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 read. Okay. So I'll read it. Yes. So I'll go to. Let's say I read it from verse four. Uh -huh. Okay. At the sound of their voices, the doorposts and the thresholds uh, shook, and the temple was filled with. Smoke. Loud, loud, please. Yeah. Uh, if you can hear me. Uh -huh. Can you enter? Okay, yeah. So uh, the smoke was uh, filled up with smoke. That means it was filled up with the presence of God. And there were seraphim. So one of the seraphim picked up the, 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 the coal and, and touched his lip with it because he had unclean lips. Did the coal forgive it or was the act of him doing that to show him that... Read, no, no, no. Stop asking. Okay. Read the verse. So, re, so what the happened verse, after that? After that, what so happened? One of the seraphims flew to me with a live coal uh -huh. and in his hand, which he had taken with uh, tongs with from the altar, call the call, okay, eh? from the altar he took that, with it he touched my mouth and said, see this has touched your lip, your guilt is taken away. Thank you. Okay. Now Thank you. What well, can't... Altar, you're interrupting Answer. me. You're interrupting okay. me. Okay, two minutes, give him two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Oh, the coal was taken from the altar of God. Anything that's on the altar of God belongs to God. Uh -huh. Okay, so when He's the seraphim who belongs to God took that coal that belonged to God, and put it on his lip, had nothing to do with him kissing the stone, or was not a pagan uh, coal. His God, his, uh, his Muhammad, Two minutes, yeah? kisses a pagan Two uh, stone that's kissed by pagans. I think this is the end of this, because we're going in a circle now. This, was this was, Yeah, this was in heaven, and the seraphim picked it up, and this was on the no, altar vision. of God. You said One vision, you got exposed. You got exposed. No, you got exposed. What is sacrifice on the altar of God? You got exposed. That is a, a foreshadowing Two of minutes, Jesus yeah? Christ, because on the altar, the sacrifice is of a lamb, and the Jesus is the lamb of God. That means that the Jesus no, has forgiven his sins. You don't understand the Bible. He's These are the context con now. context <laughs> of this. He's because going to the lamb of Jesus the now. Yes, because on the altar, you gave the sacrifice of the lamb, and the lamb of God I, is Jesus. I was and exposing your lies. Of, no, you were just you speaking not. as a child. You are a child, you don't understand You justifying the call, kissing someone, forgiving his sins, and water forgiving your sins, but you're not justifying touching the stone. The Holy Spirit forgiving it, Allah, forgiving your sins. It does Double not standard. mean that at all. Double it standard. It's from the altar of God. Barking, barking. And that's what it is. Sorry, man. This is over. I'm sorry. You Muslims, stop now I'm asking. in the uh, moon God. Two minutes, come yeah. to Jesus. He's the real God. Okay. So now he said, come. Yeah. So now here, he, he justifies water 
and a call for giving others in the Bible, Old Testament. But when it comes to Quran and Islam, the holy stone in Islam, if you touch it, Allah forgives your sin. He's not justifying that. Why? Because it's against Islam. But when it comes to store, call and a holy, having a holy stone as a pillar facing towards the holy temple, as David said in Psalm, the book of Psalm, chapter 138, verse 2, David said, Oh my Lord, I face towards your holy temple. So Christians have problems when Muslims are facing the Kaaba. They say, oh, they worship the Kaaba. But the, David himself was worshiping God and facing the holy temple. What is, what's wrong with that? Facing a, in a, one direction is not a problem. Islam is the old path of the prophets in Old Testament. We have a holy stone. We have a holy stone as a pillar. In Old Testament, they had a holy stone as a pillar. So whatever Islam practices, we all, what is what prophets of the Bible in Old Testament practiced. So they justify in Old Testament what all prophets done it, but they're not justifying about Islam. Why? Because they're against Islam. But they saying kissing a holy stone makes you pagan. So if you kiss the cross, that makes you pagan then. According to your logic, Christians, you're making no sense. You keep telling us, moon God, moon God. Allah told us, do not worship the moon and the sun. Do not prostrate moon and the sun. But you Christians worship and bow down for Jesus. And Jesus himself never bowed down to himself. He, bow, he never bowed down to the Holy Spirit. He bowed down to God the Father. Jesus admitted and believes his disciples never worshipped him. If Jesus believed his disciples worshipped him, then Jesus could not say in the Gospel of John, chapter 4, verse 22 to 23, Jesus could not say we worship. He included himself and his disciples that they all worship the Father, God the Father. And he said the true worshippers, the true worshippers will worship God the Father. So according to this verse, Jesus does not know and he doesn't believe his disciples worshipped him and his disciples otherwise he's also his disciples could could not could disagree with Jesus about this matter when Jesus said the true worshipers will worship God the Father and we worship what we know his disciples could say Jesus don't we worship you why do you say we worship what we know why are you including us that we worship God the Father why on not only you so therefore, Jesus does not have any idea and he doesn't know where his disciples worshipped him. They never worshipped him. I bet any Christian to come here and tell me, oh, the disciples worshipped him. I bet any Christian to come here and uh, show me in the Bible where Jesus, his disciples worshipped him. There is one verse they say, oh, in the boat, the people of the, when they were traveling by boat and uh, his disciples worshipped him, if they worshipped, then why would Jesus say we worship what we know? Why did he include himself and his disciples that they all worship God the Father then? That means Jesus have no idea where his disciples worshipped him and his disciples did not, dis never disagreed with Jesus when he said we, we worship what we know. Otherwise, these disciples would say, could say, oh, Jesus, we worship you. Why do you include us that we all worship what we know, which is God the Father? And Jesus said the true, the true worshipers will worship God the Father. Jesus also, he does not believe he's the God of his disciples. But Christians are saying, oh, Thomas called Jesus God. If Thomas called Jesus God and Jesus knew he's the God of Thomas, then why, what is the point of Jesus saying, I'm going to my God and your God? Why, would, could, why did he say to his disciples that he was going to his God and the God of his disciples, if Jesus is the God of his disciples? So this is clear cut. Jesus never admitted and never believed that he's the God of his disciples. Otherwise, he could not say, I'm going to my God and your God. Christians, you keep dreaming every day and every single day by criticizing crescent or whatever the holy temple facing the direction or praying in one language god of the bible himself said god of the bible himself said people they will worship me and pray to me with a pure language and praying to god worshiping to god shoulder to shoulder that's clear, Zavania 3.9, it says that. 
So Christians, what are you telling us? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And also in Isaiah, God said what? In chapter 28, verse 10 to 12, God said, I will turn, I will speak to my nation with a pure language. That's Arabic, pure language. That's Arabic. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa